We're gonna get going here today. Is there a bee bugging you? Yeah, always. On our pump house shed, we're doing the metal roofing. So we're gonna give you a quick little look at the materials that we are using. But before we do that, Mama, what is in the snack belt today? Well, today I'm gonna do a little uh, sweet and salty. I feel like you need the salty to offset the sweet. Also, Jeremy's been stealing my snacks, so I've been doubling up. Hey, 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 shh, shh. I'm going with a fudge striped uh, original. Brings me back to my childhood and the little elves in the trees make those, so those are really good. And then a uh, traditional cheese egg. That right. is a disgusting, disgusting combination. So I don't have to worry about you stealing them. That is a I was going to make little sandwiches. Like Ooh. the cookie and the cheese it together. Oh, so, no. Never go white cheddar with cheese its They taste like feet smell. Like, I literally wonder, when I try a white cheddar cheese it I wonder not, not only what person, but what panel of people tasted that and went, let's go with it. All right, for our roofing materials, we are using a metal roofing panel. You'll see what that looks like here in a second once we bust it out of the packaging. We also have our uh, gable end trim, we have our drip edge, and then a ridge cap. All of this is going to be a burnished slate color, which is kind of like a brownie gray. It's actually going to match our big shop. We just wanted it to match. We don't know what we're doing for siding as of yet on the pump house shed. What do you think, Mama? Wood? Are we thinking wood? Well, I don't know. It kind of depends on lumber prices. On lumber prices. Yeah, it's going to depend. Yeah, but anyway, the roof will match the actual color of our shop. You ready to get to work? I am. Let's do this. So gross. I told you. I told you. You should be ashamed of yourself. We are going to get started with our drip edges first. It is actually going to go over the felt paper that we put on there. Our metal sheeting will go over this, so that should be an issue as far as moisture goes. Mama, please be careful with this. Let's make sure we do not get kinky. Any other time I'd say kinky right now with this metal? No kinky. No kinks. That's Copy that. It. We just started working on this drip edge and we've got another fire burning nearby. So this is always really unfortunate when we're trying to work outside because the air just becomes nasty. But hopefully they get this fire under control. There's, they've just been popping up everywhere. It is so dry. We haven't had rain in over a month. smoke has gotten really bad. It's not showing any signs of slowing down. In fact, it's now filling the entire valley. We're breathing it in. We can smell it. It's making things a little Giving difficult. me a headache. Yeah, we're having a hard time. So we're actually going to take a break. We're going to rest up real quick, get something to eat, something to drink. Hopefully the smoke dissipates yeah. and then we'll be back out to wrap things up. Yeah, it's just, it's not even healthy to be working out in this. So we're just going to take a break for a few hours and hope this clears up. All right, before Melissa and I get going here with getting our first sheet of metal roofing set on to our shed, we went ahead and pumped a couple screws on the either end of this eave. You see that we have a string tied between them. Purpose behind that is we're trying to leave an inch and a half overhang off of this west side eave here. So we're gonna use this string as a guideline along the way with getting everything situated. Let's see how we do. All 
right, Melissa and I got our first chunk of metal up on the roof there. Chunk of metal. We had to work on it for a bit, make all the proper adjustments to assure that we are perfectly square, which we are. We even got the gable and trim piece set up there to make sure that that was gonna work out down the road once we're done with all of our paneling. Everything from here on will be working off of this front piece. So we had to spend a little extra time in making sure that we got that right. I think we're good to go at this point. We should speed up the process with the exception of the last one because we'll probably have to make a trim, but for the next few rows, we should be good to go. All right, let's do it. are down to the very back section of the shed which means we have two pieces left one on each side we have 23 inches of roof left and we have two three foot sections so we're going to be ripping down the center of each of these so we're just going to be cutting 23 inch sections using a special blade we got for the skill saw and then we will get the last pieces up
are officially done putting the metal on the roof section of this. So now we just need to get all the trim pieces. It's going to be raining tomorrow, which is our first rain in like a month. So our neighbor has rushed over this afternoon to just get the last of the baling of the second cutting of alfalfa done. So if you see a tractor going back and forth, that's why. But what do we have left to do? We're gonna get the gable end trim all cut size we'll get that attached and then we also have the ridge cap that we have to put on yep and then hopefully our roof is rainproof i guess tomorrow will be the true test but let's get it done all right We are trimming up the ends of our gable trim and initially to start doing that we were using these snips that we have which weren't working out so great so we actually transitioned and started using the circular saw which left a much cleaner finish so we're going to stick with that i realize i've maybe folks will probably say i don't have as much control with this but it's been working out just fine so we're going to stick with it So we just got done making all of the cuts that we needed to here at the end of our gable end trim. You can see that the end result is a series of tabs. The top one, which actually gets bent down and kind of folded over to serve as a cap over the ridge board. This is the actual plumb line that should mend with the center of the ridge board when looking at it from the front. Uh, things went well. You can see we ended up with some pretty clean cuts using the circular saw. Like I said, as opposed to the 10 snips, you can kind of tell where we use those. I much prefer the circular saw, so again, we are going to stick with that, but now with this done, we can go ahead and get everything mocked up before securing it with some screws. So this is why our builds take so long because after we complete every single little step he walks all the way back there and stares at it from a distance he is a man of perfection i like to admire my work what can i say hey, mama it's too hot what my feeties to burn burn my feeties <laughs> your little feeties Yeah, that's really high, frying egg up there. So here's the situation. I have burned the bottoms of my feet. I done fried my little tootsies, mama. I done fried my little tootsies. <laughs> so I was going up and down our metal roof with bare feet. Probably a mistake on my part because it is like 90 degrees, low 90s. And yeah, I ended up burning the bottom of my feet. So we're going to take a little break. We're going to let things cool down a little bit before I hop back up there to get our ridge cap screwed on. Come on, Daddy. Oh. Shade. You want to roll in the hay with me? <laughs> okay, so while we're taking this little break from the heat here, we thought we'd uh, take a second to kind of speak to you guys about a concern that we've been having as of late. We've actually gotten a lot of questions on the channel about this very issue or topic. And so that is 
the rising cost of lumber. There is a, I don't want to say crisis, I don't know if that's the right word to use, but there is shortage. a, yeah, there's a, basically a lumber shortage and uh, an increase in demand, which has led to the cost of lumber to rise exponentially. <laughs> yes. Yeah, a lot. When we first moved out here, it was about five months ago and we were making comments about how affordable the lumber was out here and you know this is so great and when we started building our tiny home we were we did most of it with osb yeah which we caught some flack for but the reason we actually used osb was because it was cheap we have yeah. a set budget we saved money we saved basically every dollar every penny that we had for mm -hmm. years and years mm -hmm. trying to make this happen right. um it required a lot of sacrifice of us and so our set budget the the amount of money that we have allotted to get everything done around here is is pretty tight and yeah. so because of that we have now had to contemplate whether or not we need to maybe alter our plans, make some changes because we can't. So when we were using the OSB in the, the tiny home, we were paying about eight bucks a sheet. The price of OSB has gone up a lot. Um, so the once we're done with the pump house and once we're done with the tiny home, we're going to be shifting our focus on our actual house. And we can't really change that footprint too much because we've already poured the foundation for the home. So it's 2,200 square feet one-story home so we're talking about a pretty substantial floor that we have to put on and so with osb being three times the cost that it was when we made the budget for the home we're talking about tripling the cost of just putting the floor in so it's definitely a real concern for us but i mean all we can do is just keep trudging forward and try to adjust and adapt as we go but yeah we have noticed it a lot of people have asked if we've been noticing the rising costs and we definitely have and um, as far as what we're going to do about that, we're not really sure yet, but we're just going to hope that prices come down. So here's what we're going to ask you to kind of close this little portion of the video out here is give us your thoughts and opinions on whether or not this is something that's going to be with us for a while as far as this, this increase in uh, costs for lumber. If any of you out there have any kind of insight or insider information, please feel free to share that with us as well. We'll see what happens. It's outside of our control. There's nothing that we can really do about it per se. So we'll, uh, we'll, cross Hope that bridge when we get to it, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so to speak. Yep. You make me nervous I think I might be hooked on you I love the things you said you said to me to me it seems like you like me too can take it so make sure we do this right canceled all my plans to be with you tonight tonight so just sit with me talking to the night until the morning building can mystery i don't think i ever want to go come closer now Another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. You make me anxious. I think I might be stuck on you. I love the things you did, you did for me, for me. It seems like you're dropping clues. There's no need to rush, so let's just take our time. Yep. All right, guys, there you go. It's a really busy couple of days for us, but we managed to get a lot done. We got all of our roofing installed onto our pump house shed, all the panels, all the trim. We got the roof cap also on there. And in the process, I managed to fry both my tissies. So I'm feeling pretty proud and accomplished of myself right now, what can I say? Yeah, this project took us a little bit longer than we thought because the first day we got completely smoked out, but we were able to complete it just in time. Tomorrow we have the first rain expected in well over a month. So fingers crossed the roof works. I'm sure it'll hold up. Yeah, so anyway, thank you guys so much for following along with us today and we will catch you on the next one. See you guys, say bye, Kira. Bye. Sit with me Talking through the night and through the morning Building chemistry And I don't think I ever want to go Come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think You were meant to be With me Talking through the night and through the morning Building chemistry I don't think I ever want to go Come closer next to me Trying to
can't find another way to say this, but I think.